Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here with week 14 of Marguerite Miller, and I believe it's week 13 of uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So we'll hop on that in a minute. Let's say hi and hugs first to Sue, Sherry, Carolyn, and Lucy. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, so Marguerite Miller, first thing we need is a border or a frame. So I have these frames and I thought I'd use those. A handwritten measurement. These little Tim Holtz cards have grades on them. So they're sort of a handwritten measurement, I thought. Something with a lid or cover. I've got a magazine page with some bottles. Front or back of a playing card. I have these three playing cards that I thought kind of went with what we were doing. Leaves. I just printed out a digital that I had. And then something torn. I tore this old paper a while back. And so I thought we'd use that. So... That's, that's what we've got to play with here. So let's get started. Get our glue going. And I'm going to just cover my pages with this digital of the leaves. So hope you're all having a great day, doing well and all. We're doing well. Um, I'm filming this on Monday. We had... Um, granddaughter volleyball this yesterday uh, about an hour away from our house so we did that that was fun got to see my son and daughter-in-law and visit with them up in the stands which is always great you know so yeah and um it was fun to watch them they're they're doing great they're you know, they're just plugging right along. Meanwhile, our Katie was on the other side of the state playing and her team took the championship yet again. I think I told you when they played here that they did. Well, they played in Billings and they took the championship too. So her little team's on a roll. But yeah, so yeah, they, um, we had a fun day. It was nice to be with them. We had some sad news this weekend um I think I've told you uh many times when we have our little uh dinner parties with our friends I think we've t told you about that well one of the one of the guys he passed away son uh Saturday night so oh, that's been that's been tough it's been tough to watch my husband mourn his friend and I mean he was my friend too so anyway and think about my my friend his wife and you know what she's going through and all so yeah shoveling snow was the culprit so yeah I think I know how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to cut these three out together. So, so yeah, it, we had, we actually were driving to my granddaughter's volleyball when we got the message that we knew he was in ICU, but we got the message on our way there. So it was nice to be with our son and daughter-in-law and get some good hugs and stuff. So yeah, we never know, do we? We have to live every single day to our very best. Okay, these I think are gonna be real fun. Is that, isn't that cute? And I thought the colors kind of went nicely too. And then I was gonna cut this one out, this jelly, nas, nas, nasturtium jelly. 
That's a flower, isn't it? Yeah, so just do this one by itself. Okay. So we have those. Now we just kind of have to figure out where to put, where we want to put stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure. I might use this size frame. Um, and I was kind of thinking of maybe putting, just kind of going like this or something. I mean, I want the little one. Ooh, let's use this one. It's got a little green to it. I kind of want the cards to peek out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing. Okay, let's put that there for now. Then we have these little things. And we need to use some of that pretty. I think I might almost use this torn paper as, as sort of um, washi tape sort of a thing. Then we've got these. You could put, tuck one there. You put it down there like that. And here I could kind of go something like that. that better down there. I'm thinking of putting this on as a tuck for my for my prompts. thinking about distressing but I don't think I'm going to you know I think I'm fine without that okay we're gonna we're gonna put these on and then I was thinking at first of putting the writing on before we glue things down but I think I'm gonna use it more as washi like I say so stick for this one. like this one's kind of coming together pretty easily. Put that right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on as a tuck. Don't talk and forget to do that, Gail. It's been known to happen. <laughs> on. What would we do without magazines in the Marguerite Miller challenge? This is like one of the first times I haven't used a sticker from one of my sticker books. Just so happened we had we 
had what we needed. Okay, and then this little guy, I'm just going to put him kind of down in the corner there. Like that. And then these. fun to use some playing cards. I have lots of playing cards and I just kind of forget to use them. I need to pull them out to use as journal cards more often, you know, or just, you know, to tuck in a, just to tuck in a pocket because they're so decorative, especially, you know, the vintage ones. There. And we'll frame. I might put it this way. Kind of like that. For no particular reason other than it just occurred to me that I'd like it like that. <laughs> No rhyme nor reason. Doesn't really want to stick on the on the cards very badly. Okay. Well, we did that. Let's put this in here. Just kind of like that, I guess. Now these pieces. How do we want to do these pieces? I think I'm going to tear this. And put that right there. there. Not exactly sure where to go over here. Let me gosh I can't pick it up. Um like something that like kind of across there. And then uh, there you have it. I was kind of hoping this one would go quickly because I've got, we've got a bit to do on the Rachel's Roxy Creations. Okay, there we go. That's 14. Border frame, handwritten measurement, lid, something with lid playing cards, leaves, and something torn. Cool. There you have it, folks. There's that one. Okay, we'll set this over here. This can go back in the scraps. Uh, let's see. Don't need that. Might need that. Don't need this at the moment. No glue at the moment. Okay. So... This was the painted tags that Roxy Creation did. So I did, she took a book page and she put neutral pieces on it. So that's this. Then she backed it, okay? So I'm not going to do that part on camera here. You've seen me collage a gazillion times. But that's what she did. She took an old book page. She covered the front of it with different neutral pages. And some of hers had a little bit of writing on them or something. And then she covered the back for a writing space. So 
I have this that I made a long time ago that is book page that's neutral. So, and then it's backed. So I thought I would cut both of those up into tag shapes and we will do the painting part and the stamping part. So I just thought that would save us a little bit of time. So this one is about, what is it? Nine. So let's do these about three inches. I guess the length of them will be about five and three quarters. So yeah. I figured the text was neutral enough too. So thought that would work. And then I have a variation. What did I do with them? Oh yeah, they're being squashed. But we'll save the variation until we do it Rachel's way here. Okay, so I was thinking, I have one more thing. What was I going to do? Okay, this is eight and a half by ten. Eight and a half by ten. So if I cut it in half, it'd be five inches. Okay. Five inches. So we'll do the variation while this one is drying. And that was eight. So maybe three and three and two. I'll have a little skinny one that might not work. But that's okay. Oh, yeah, it's going to work. That would be a little tag, but that's okay. Okay, so three and three, and then the leftover. Okay. There we go. So cut those. And then we're going to paint them. I better get something. Got to grab my drop paper, the, just the white stuff, so hopefully this won't be too distracting to you. Okay, so here's these three. Uh, let's see, let's cut them. Cut the edges into tags. I'm just gonna do it this way just because I don't wanna grab anything extra do that and then I can just hold this one up and this one okay and I guess these these three inch ones as well looks like I need to get a little glue on that lift up a little bit okay three and three and three so just kind of do them the same here and then these two Okay, everybody is snipped. Okay, so then we're going to just lay them out here. And I can do a couple here. Okay, so um, I have I have this brush which is a good one for just doing a quick wash. Um, I grabbed some paints and they are, let's see, I grabbed a real light pink, which I thought would be fun. And then I thought it might be fun to try 
met, uh, metallic because it's pretty see-through. So I thought maybe I'd just do one with the Stamperia and just, just see how we go. That's probably way too much, but that's okay. And I'm just going to put some water in it. I'm sorry, am I off camera? Just thin it down some. good and thin and then we're just going to brush but I don't want it to be I want it to be pretty see-through oh my goodness I made a gosh awful mess thought I was being careful <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave some of that look at that I'm going to leave some of the um, the text. I'm going to say, I think the metallics are going to, I don't know. We'll see how they work. We shall see. Oh, heaven forbid I get some. Thought I had enough for two, maybe not. Well, close to it. That's okay. I'll use some of the pink metallic and we'll add to that. So this one can go sit somewhere and dry. Because boy, did I get crazy with that one. Oh, oh well. Oh, I went over here. I guess I should shake it first, shouldn't I? Get her mixed up. I still haven't shown you my variation. I guess using the metallics is a bit of a variation. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of water in there, a couple squirts. Ooh, that's going to be cool, I think. Okay. You can go dry. Let's see. Let's do one of these tiny ones. I think I might have enough here. The metallic is a little more see-through. Hmm. Okay, I think I might leave that there. I might put a little bit of, like I'm going to use this green, or what is this? Pearl blue. It's more of a turquoise. Yeah. Yeah, that really needed shaking up. There we go. Just some white stuff came out. Just going real thin with it. Okay, I need another something to sit these on to dry. What would I do without junk mail? I don't know. I do not know. Okay. Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. I wanted to take some of that and do a little bit on this too. Have a couple colors on this one. Okay, that's that's pretty. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do the rest of these in the pearl just because my variation is gonna you'll see, you'll see why in a second here. Okay, how about purple? Should we do purple? See what happens. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna water that down at all. It's it's pretty pretty uh, transparent as is. Ooh, the purple's nice. Okay. 
There's the purple. Yeah, I'm happy with the purple. Okay, then the other thing I have is green here. Like a real green. Pearl green, it's called. Oh, yeah, this is... These are all pearl metallics. But I had a feeling they'd be a bit more... Um, translucent than... than normal acrylic paints. And just thought that might be kind of fun for something different. Okay. So there's that one. Let's do this guy. I think I'm gonna, let's put some, add some regular paint to it. Regular acrylic, just to see what happens. And then we'll put some green on it too. going to do the same kind of thing with the pink and then the green just so we can be done and moving on to the next maybe fun okay one more uh, I think I might do one with pink and purple I way too much of that, but it's okay. A little bit of pink here. Okay. Oop. I'm losing bristles here. Okay, cool. Alrighty, those can sit and dry because the next step is stamping and we're not gonna do that on wet, are we? Make a feeble attempt at cleaning my palette, which is beyond cleaning really. Okay, so we're gonna let those dry and I will show you my variation. Okay, we're done with you. Kind of wish I would have had my drop papers because those were kind of pretty. Okay, get rid of the paints. Oh, I splattered like all over my desk, oh no when I went crazy with that first one, I got paint all over my desk. Hang on, we can't have this on my new mat. We just cannot. Okay. Uh-oh, it's dry already. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to scritchy scratchy it all off. You know, what is this? This is April. I think I got this. I got it before Christmas as a Christmas present to myself. So I kept it good for four months. That's that's not bad. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good, guys. Oh, man. I'm just a messy girl when it comes to paint and stuff. Okay. So the variation is this. Along the way, somewhere along the way, um, somebody sent me this, maybe when I was still accepting Happy Mail, sent me these painted book pages. They're just, you know, painted the block of the book page. So I went ahead and backed them all. I backed them with, I had some coffee dye, half sheets of coffee dyed paper. I had some um, 
uh, end papers on books that I use, so I, they're all backed. So I thought we could cut these into tags as well. I thought that would be fun. And then they're ready to stamp, basically. So this one is, it's seven and a half. So, you know, I'm trying to think, do I want to go which way with them? But I think... I think I'll kind of do this one in half-ish. And do a couple of little short fat, short fat tags. Yeah, we can make those into tags. This one, I kind of like the idea of going down the middle. So that's four and a half, about two and a quarter and a skosh is how big that is. Close enough. This one, I think I'm gonna go in half with it too. It's five inches, so two and a half, easy peasy. Now granted, the paint's up, uh, all the way up to the other side, but I don't, uh, that, that doesn't bother me. Um, this one's like seven and a half. That's okay. I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put three inches and three inches. That could be a tall skinny, I suppose. This one looks like Four and a half, so two and a quarter and a little bit. I'm gonna just make, I like having the tall skinny ones for when I do the belly bands this way on a page, I like that. So, that one also. I've had these in my stash for literally years and years. So I'm grateful to Rachel for giving me a good way to use them. Let's make some shorter ones again. I mean, when I saw her video, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is great. This is going to be... A use for these painty pages so yeah a couple more about the same size so we'll just we'll just go ahead and do them how's that for just jumping in and being a crazy girl okay lots of tags so we are going to, in the end, have many painted tags. But I wanted to be able to do this while, um, I mean, I wanted to be able to stamp these and, and do something with them, you know, kind of right away. I don't think I'm going to make them necessarily into a tag shape. They may be, we'll just, we'll just, Go along and do them as we do them. How's that? So I need all my stamps. And I grabbed a bunch. I grabbed a bunch of my blue fern stamps. I have a bow bunny butterfly kisses that I got from Journey of Crafting. This is Stamperia. I think this came in one of my um, one of my kits. Uh, from Mixed Media Minnesota. I have this little girl and I have my Tim Holtz wildflowers. So, and then I've just got some wooden ones that I got these two at a estate sale. This one on sale at Hobby Lobby, it looks like. So, and I liked how Rachel used, she used a brown, um, I have a potting soil, so I thought I'd use that. Okay, these ones. 
Oh, and on my blue ferns, um, I just have all sorts of them. Botanical, Melage, Friendship Gardens, Through the Gate. This one is Garden Sentiments. Got that big fat gate. <laughs> Ornate Iron Gate. This one is called Bird's Eye View. And this one is Fairy Whispers, Whispering Magnolias. And um, a lot of those, I think, will go on the bigger, t the bigger tags that we did our... Um, that we did our painting on. Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't grab an acrylic block. I could have swore. I could have swore I brought those over here, but I don't know if I did, what I did with them. No, they're still all over there. Hang on one second. Talk amongst yourselves. I just wanted to grab this big one and I'm going to leave it over here because it's, it's good for some of these. So, okay. So let's do some stamping. I appreciate this, Rachel, because I am notoriously bad about using my stamps and I don't know why. I don't know if this has very much ink in it. It's not looking great. Well, we'll try it and see what we get. Maybe I just am not seeing it well. We'll see how it does. Ooh. Push down. If I push down harder, it'll make up for not so much ink. <laughs> Apparently, that's my thought. Yeah, that's not good. Shoot. Well, we can do something else with that. Okay, well then, I know, um, I know there's enough black, but let's try this archival sepia and see how it does. The grays aren't my absolute favorite. That's why I'm kind of trying these. That seems like it's more juicy. Yeah, that appears to be going on there. Anyway, Rachel said she doesn't use her stamps enough either, and I feel the same way. I mean, I do. I love using them. I just don't think of it all the time. So, that's okay. It's a little, like, because it's kind of bent, it's not pressing down. Let me get my... Let me get my this. This is just a foam stamping pad. See, another thing I forget about. By golly, I'm going to get a decent stamp of this or, or just keep trying one or the other. Okay, those are super dark. Um, let me use this one. Okay, let's try it again. I know you guys will have all sorts of stamping advice for me. And I mean, I've been stamping for years and years and years. And I've kind of heard all the tips. But whether or not I use them, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> okay. The, I bet you this is going to work better. It was too hard of a surface on my... Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay, there's a really good one. These, not so good. But maybe I just put some um, texty stamp over it or something. You know, might be fine. But that's cute. I like that one. So, 
I think I'm going to do a quarter inch on the bottom here. And do kind of a, a bit of a tall cut on those. Okay. So there's that one. Um, and then Rachel put like some little number, little number um, labels and that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to use this little punch on one on this one. This says KW dash T R I O. So um, I I don't remember I've had it for a long time. I don't remember where I got it, but I do like it's just a little slot. So that's cute. Needs to be inked around, you know, because that's how I roll. But and and decorated. So let's see where we are time right wise. Oh, we have only have about twenty minutes. Um, let's see if we can stamp for about ten minutes and then. Then we'll go to something else. I really, I really do like this particular stamp on these tall ones. I think the Tim Holtz ones would be a bit short, but you could put a label at the top then. So maybe we'll try that next. I just want one more, one more good one here. Ooh, yes. Okay. Well, that's that's happy. I liked how the other one was, so I'm going to do this the same way. Whoops. So we've got, I kind of like a pink one, too. Probably needed more than one video for this project, but... I always think I'm going to get so many done and then, but I wanted to show you this variation too. So I thought that would work out. Those are cute. I like those. Okay. So let's get a different stamp. Stamp you off a little bit. Ooh, that stamped nicely on there. <laughs> I usually use a piece of um, coffee dyed paper. I don't have one right now, but let me grab one because that was like, you know, I really almost didn't want to waste that stamp. It's just so pretty. Let's see if there's any left. Nope. Okay. So there's that one. Um, should we try, like, maybe this long Tim Holtz right here? Wildflowers. Hopefully that's going to stick. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of gravitating towards the lighter colors. I do like the sepia. That's a nice effect. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Just, and then maybe a label at the top. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go a bigger round here. Let's see if we can find a little um, a little label for that. Where are my labels? No, nope. there they are. I was thinking, you know, something like that. I really like that. Let's just go with it. 
I'm going to leave those out. We might want them. So now I'm in the midst of decorating. I have put things on top of my drying tags. <laughs> so that's great. Oh gosh, I think I can get rid of that for the moment. Um, what was I doing? Gun oh, glue pages. And stick that on there. <laughs> Got a little too much going on at once, but it's fun. Yeah, that's cute. And then just cut the tag shape. I think this one, I might put a hole in and put some hole reinforcers on it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm going to completely hurt myself if I'm not careful. Got my cutters all over the floor get up and trip over it, you know. Okay, so we'll do that. Keep that handy. Um, thought I, yep, I have some coffee dyed ones. I'm going to go, or uh, not coffee dyed, inked. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on them because they get they easily fall off otherwise fun okay now I'm in a oops G scale okay now what I'm going to do is ink it because this one's this one's completely done. Oh yeah, it looks good inked. Then it's not quite as abrupt when the paint goes to the edge there. Okay, let's do the back quick like. And that one's done. And because it's just book page and then a backing, it's pretty thin. You know, it's not going to add much bulk. Okay, so there's that one all done. That's exciting. I love that. Let's do a pink one. Um, let's do like this pink one. And then I'm not going to, since we finished one, you can see how they're going to look finished. But I might have to, I just want to get all the stamping done if I can. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, and I have the butterfly stamps too. We could stamp a butterfly on one too, couldn't we? Okay, that's cute. Let's see here. Maybe we'll put this little guy on. Got another acrylic block here. Happily, my sepia stamp seems to be a little happier than the brown one was. Cute. Now this one I can see like one of those little number sort of things. Okay, let me just stamp this off a little. Okay. Um, okay, here I go. I'm going to finish this one it looks like. Let's see. Yes, like something like this down there, right? Yep. Um, a 
Real fun, Rachel. That's what I love about Rachel's Challenge It. Kind of makes you do things. At first I was like, oh, I don't know. But it's real fun to do. So I'm glad. Glad I got glad I went for it. Let's go ahead and do some corners. And I think I'll do a little slot on this one again. I'll use my little uh, bucket of extra twine and ribbon and stuff. That's, you know, my, my leftovers. That's what I'll use to top these, I think. Well, we're going to have another one done because... <laughs> Because I just had to. Don't know if we're going to end up, I don't think we will end up doing a Christmas one. You know how I've been doing a one Christmas of each project because um, I don't have any Christmas stamps that aren't tucked away in a tub. So I think... Just have to wait on that. So there's that one. That one's done too. Woohoo. Well, I have a couple done anyway. Okay, let's do some more stamping. I was looking at, at this tag and looking at this stamp and thinking it's a match made in heaven. So I'm going to stamp that one. This is a pretty flower stamp. I really like this. It says demo on it. I got it at an estate sale, but I'm wondering if it was a somebody who was, I don't know. It doesn't say it's a stamping up, but some other kind of demonstrator. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that turned out good. I like that. So, we'll, I'll just do some, I think I might like... I keep saying I'm not going to do it, and then I do it. <laughs> I'm thinking this punch, the Euro punch, will be cool on here. Yeah, it's just the right, just the right size. So all I have to do is distress that one and put something on the top. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um, this one seems like it's dry. Do I have something a bit smaller? Like, what about that? Let's see what that would look like. Okay, I'm going to take off my Tim Holtz for the moment. This one is called the F Friendship's Garden. That's what this one's called. I thought these flowers might be pretty on here. Oh, yeah, sometimes it's hard to, when it hasn't been used, it's hard to get it off. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Got it. Okay. Well, I've got myself in a fine mess, I'll tell you what. Stuff everywhere. From paint to stamps to water. <laughs> Mostly stamps. Stamps everywhere. Which might be why I don't use them as much as I should. Ooh, I need a little more right there, I think. Gosh, look at that. I it's, I don't know what I even did to my finger, but I took a chunk out of it, and I keep hitting it, and it's rather tender. Yeah, It's okay. It's not a perfect stamp, like I lost that flower, but it's okay. Um, do I have another one of those little ones? I thought I did. Yes. 
Let me try. I'm going to try curling that almost the other way. Let's try it again. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Goodness. Busy day today doing laundry because I didn't get it done yesterday. Just busy. Hoping that I get that. I want that middle flower. <laughs> okay. Up there. Better, but not perfect. But, you know, nothing I do is ever perfect. So there you go. Okay. Okay, so I'll put that up there. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on that. And, oh, sh yeah, five minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, ah, oh, shoot, I uh, don't have any time left. But we've got five minutes. Let's see what we might want to do with some of these. It's new. Like a word or a word. A little something. I was thinking about putting something across there. I think I will. Um, let's see. I think this has like the word garden or something like that in there, which might be nice. There's a number. No, because it's too big. Hmm, I don't mind that. That is okay. And the number is crooked on it, so that makes me <laughs> makes me feel like this is not meant to be a perfect tag. Oh, I guess I don't have those on label paper. Okay. Okay. We'll go just like that. Um, I'm feeling this one could use this punch. Yeah. Come out, little guy. I don't have time for you to be ornery. There. All right. Well... That wasn't a perfect stamp, but it was too imperfect for my liking. So, but now I'm absolutely loving this, and I really do like the metallic paint. So, just an option if you're doing this project, the the pearl metallic is real pretty on these. Cool, that one's done. Three done. Um. Gosh, all these really need is to be, is to be, um, distressed. I don't think I want anything else on them. Maybe. Ooh, that's kind of cool how that happened. Yeah, some of these ones backed with old book page. They're a little bit on the fragile side. Hey, does that need anything? What do you think? I don't know. I'm 
Many things grow in the garden. Hmm. I kind of think I like it there. Actually, I think I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to put this on this green one because there's a little, the stamp was a little weak in that spot. So, so gosh, many more to do. I do think I'm going to stamp everything that I've got going on here because, um, just so that I can clean up afterwards. Oh, okay. I'm thinking I could put it right here. It would kind of be nice. Okay, there's that one. How are we doing? Oh, it's time. So, I'll show you what we ended up with. We ended up with some from my, um, uh, my what you call it, my variation with the painted book pages. This one was done the way, kind of the way Rachel did it, except it's all text, which she kind of did more, um, what do I want to say, more plain ones. Okay, well, we got five of them done. These two are ready to go. And then I have a bunch of stamping to do. So, <laughs> so thanks everybody for playing today. And thanks for being here. Have a grateful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.